Hey, what's up everybody? Back in the shop with C10. I've been getting some views, a lot of views. I appreciate the views, I appreciate the support. Hit that like, hit the subscribe. If you see something in the video that, that's not correct, quite right, you know, maybe I had the, the volume up too loud on the music or, or what have you, or my sound quality is not where it should be, let me know. I need those comments and those, uh, that feedback so I can get better. As far as the C10 goes, uh, started making the mouse today. Started doing the cardboard drawings and, and templates and everything. And I'll show you what so I got here we so go. far. This is what we got so far. All right. I made a silhouette of the stock pedestal here. And this is to scale. I didn't just, you know, look at it and draw it and say, oh, that'll work. I mean, this is to scale. I made the measurements. I did all the drawing uh, just the way it needs to be so I can draw this thing out and be perfect. Now, I did not just draw it on the cardboard. I also made myself a little template. Went and checked it, made sure everything was going to line up with the frame holes and the mount hole on the, the actual mount that's attached to the engine. So what do we have here? We have the inner frame rail here. Got the top of the frame rail. All right. We got the top of this pedestal. And we got the cross member here. Now, this comes across the top of the frame rail. Angle straight towards the oil pan. The top of the Marissa oil pan is right around in here somewhere and it, all I did was just take a straight shot there and then just find this angle here all right so I can mimic that lower mounting point um, once I got it here on cardboard I turned around put it on it made a template went and put it in the car I made the or the truck I made the holes I got some push pins uh, and held it in place with the push pins and it all lines up perfect now as far as the strength here i'm going to run a gusset from here to here and then another one from there to there or i may just run one big piece of plate on one side of it that is the whole face and it will be shaped let me see if i could draw this dude out it'd be shaped like this here comes across and then up and over so it pretty much go like this that's kind of tough I'm drawing using the camera I may do that on one side just to strengthen the whole thing up because this pedestal doesn't just act as a mounting surface for the uh, engine it also strengthens the the frame the frame rail so when the suspension is over here cycling up and down, it doesn't push back in and roll the frame rail. The pedestal actually strengthens that and holds it in place so the frame rail doesn't, doesn't tweak in. So you have to watch that when you make these. You can't just go from the engine straight down and not strengthen the frame rail. It's all going to want to bow in. All right, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me see if I got some light over here. If not, I got my flashlight. All right, here we go. You see what I mean? Like all this suspension and everything else is mounted up here on your cross member. All right, that looks pretty rigid as far as the cross member and everything. But what the old school hot riders are telling me that this piece here, the top part of the frame rail will actually tweak in towards the engine under hard suspension loads. And that's the, one of the reason the pedestal is made the way it is. Now, I don't know if that's true, but if it is, I don't want to take any chances and and not put that strength back back in the new bracket i make so there you have it that's what i'm doing for the frame rails or for the uh new pedestals uh, as far as the engine and, and lowering it down in the engine bay if i missed anything comment let me know uh also i'm getting a lot of views and i appreciate that go ahead and hit that subscribe button that way you get uh, updates when i load a new video on the c10 project or the g35 project or the uh stuff that's going around the shop Oh, me and Mark's got, got a 6L80E and a 4L60. We want to see which one's fastest. So that video is going to be coming out here soon. And you'll understand what I'm talking about once you see it. Uh, I got to build something to make it happen. But we're going to see which transmission is faster. I think my 4L60E transmission is going to be a lot faster than the 6L80. We'll see. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know. All right. Hopefully I'll have those brackets made tomorrow. Uh, Friday, maybe. 
Saturday? Hell, I don't know. Trying to work and do as much as I could on the truck and the G35 uh, LS uh, project that I got going on. Got two projects going on, plus kids playing soccer and, and it's football season. You know, my boy's on the high school team, so, you know, it, it's crazy. It's crazy uh, scheduling right now. But as for tonight, I got to get out of here. Uh, we'll keep at it, you know, keep on keeping on. Like, post, or like, comment, subscribe. Let me know. Later.